Hi everyone and welcome. You may recall that a little while back I did a review of an FM radio. This was in kit form and it was basically the same size as a double AA battery holder. It was called the YFM2 and it performed surprisingly well and only cost $3. Well AliExpress have come up with this upgrade. This is the DIY3B, similar in size to the YFM2 but it now includes AM coverage as well as FM in the same size. Now this does cost just a little bit more, it costs £4.72 UK, but that does include carriage and that works out around about $5.50 plus any tax that you may need to pay. Now, as I say, the form factory is exactly the same size, so dimension wise it's 60mm wide, 32mm high, and we're just going to get the old mugshot test we always do on this channel and just for size comparison, there you go. Now I initially thought this was going to be a kit radio that you assembled yourself, but no, it actually came fully assembled. Now these are personal radios, this is just designed for headphones. Now I think they've made a very good job of the layout because they've actually allowed enough space there for a full size tuning knob rather than having push buttons to just scan up and scan down the frequencies. Now talking of frequencies, AM coverage is between 522 to 1620 kHz and FM is between 81 and 108 MHz. However, there's more to this than meets the eye and I'll reveal that a little bit later on. So let's go through some of the features. So looking at the left hand side, we've got a 3.5mm audio output jack. Adjacent to that, we've got a three-way selector switch, so that's either off, FM selection or medium wave. We've then got a little preset resistor, that's for adjusting the headphone volume control. Would have been nice if that was full size, but no, that's just still a nice feature to have. Adjacent to that, we've got an LED. That indicates red from when you've got power on, and then turns to green when you've tuned into a strong station. And then we've got our main tuning control, as we mentioned. Power consumption, that's around about 30 milliamps, so the AA batteries should last quite a while. And the audio output is in the range of about 20 milliwatts. So the question is, what is controlling this little receiver? So let's find out. Okay, so in order to find out what's controlling this little receiver, we first need to remove that rear battery cover. It's just held in with two screws, as you can see. So let's undo those now. I'll try not to lose them in the process. There we go. So when we open this up, it reveals a single IC. This is a KT0936M, basically a surface mounted AM FM radio on a single IC. And you must be thinking to yourself, okay, so far, so normal. However, I looked at the specifications on this little IC and it revealed something interesting. First of all, it's configurable and it's got a greater coverage than what you initially think. So FM coverage, according to the data sheet, is between 32 and 110 megahertz. AM is between 500 and 1750 kilohertz. And get this, it also covers shortwave. And shortwave is given between 1.75 to 32 megahertz. So potentially, this could be hacked and used for shortwave reception. And it would appear that pin seven, which is not connected on this little set, is the pin that controls shortwave reception. So this could be a really good little receiver for hacking and just experimenting with and see what you can actually potentially do. So what I'm going to do now is hook it up to a little amplifier and we're going to take it for a test drive. First of all, we're going to see what FM performance is like and then we're going to have a look at AM. So let's take a look at that. So let's take this little receiver for a spin around the dials now. I've put two AA batteries in, as you can see. Because this is a personal receiver, I'm hooking up a little audio amplifier just so you can hear the test results. And in this case, it's this little LM386 audio amplifier. This is available as a kit off AliExpress. It only costs around about $2. And if you're interested, I've done a video review on this. I've connected up a little loudspeaker. I've popped it on a cloth just because it tends to vibrate on the board. A little power supply for this amplifier. And then we've got our 3.5mm audio lead to connect the two together. And by the way, if you're just curious as to where the FM aerial is, it's when you plug in your headphone lead, or in this case our audio lead, that then becomes the aerial. That's a neat little touch. So I'm going to try it on FM first of all. So let's plug it in, switch it on, and see how it performs. Now it might pick some noise up off the camera, so just bear that in mind. I have to stay here. 
We are one republic. You can't wait to see you. That's not too bad, it's a little bit hissy, as I say, it might be picking up some noise off the camera. So let's try medium wave now and see what performance is like on that. So let's switch it over. Let's control the end of the dial. Overall, that wasn't too bad. I have got a lot of LED lighting on, so that's probably generating quite a bit of noise. And you wouldn't necessarily hear that if you're just operating this in normal conditions. But the sensitivity is pretty decent, I have to say that. So what I'm going to do now is have a look at our overall thoughts on this little receiver. So, one of my conclusions on this little PCB-style AM FM receiver. Well, from a performance point of view, it was about what I was expecting with a reasonable sensitivity. However, this may prove to be a good little receiver for hacking and trying to extend its frequency range to that what the radio IC is actually capable of. And as well as using it as it is, if you're good with your hands, you could make a unique box to house this in and use an audio amplifier to drive a loudspeaker and thus making your own custom made radio. Or even if you could fit it into an old broken receiver, maybe from the 1960s or 70s that you don't want to throw away and breathe new life into that receiver. Anyway, hopefully this review proved useful. If it did, then please give me that thumbs up. That helps others to find this video as well. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I'll catch up with you soon.